One of those. <laughs> Wait. <laughs> They're not oh, real. <laughs> Two absolutely glorious days in a row. Go away, girl, it's here, and I said it on the last vlog, but you need to listen to it if you haven't. So much, so much swag. <laughs> Me and Wynn do not work well together. Starting off this morning, Sunday morning, at Aroma Coffee House with the guys. Yeah, yeah, look at that. <laughs> yeah. Do you need a pleasure on go out as well? There's no, there's no filter on that either. So you look good, good. It's the same, there's no filter on that. <laughs> <laughs> this is what Sundays are for. Maple syrup and banana crepe and coffee. Just, just taking a drink. <laughs> Thinking of trading in the hat. Always, always wanted a cowboy hat. Always wanted to go to Texas. Always wanted cowboy yeah. boots. Solid 7 out of 10. Hola. Hola. Back door entry. You rope climbing? No. <laughs> it looks like it. Sunday is a day that we, like myself and Jasmine, would usually rest. But we're on a we're training at the moment, we're just enjoying it. We're just going to come in and we're just going to do some lifting. At our own pace. Do whatever we fancy. Do what the body feels like. Just enjoy it. We do this because we love it. We don't do this because we have to. Went to a great place last night. I think we're going to go 17.1s last night. You can't say that on the vlog. Why not? We haven't told them. Oh, that. We can't tell them that. We can't tell them that at the moment. Sad news for the channel. How sad is it? <laughs> it's it's very sad, but it's a wonderful opportunity for the person involved. They're just just we're just very sad about it. Don't really go do that wheel. What do you want out? Stella didn't have any kit, so he's borrowed George's. That's Warner's when he's 16 years old, so... <laughs> what's, what's his entrance song? <laughs> is this the life of jazz? I'm living the life of, life of jazz. Kind of. Kind of living the life of jazz. How's it feel? Feels good, actually. Feels yeah. good. We're going. Three cleans. Two front squats. One jerk. Built to a heavy complex today. This is just like... Yeah, just so easy. I'm pretty happy with that. <laughs> 120 kg. Did the first lift and it kind of half knocked me out. By the time I came to the jerk, I was knackered. <laughs> Good little complex. I've never done that complex before. I saw it on one of the guys that I follow, Joe Cohen. He's like from CrossFit Napalm. Went there and threw down in like, I think it was like WOD 4 or WOD 5 of last year in the open. That's the thing sometimes. Like, I follow a lot of you guys and I follow a lot just of people I've met along the way. And my training sometimes consists of just seeing what you guys are doing and being like, oh, I'd love to have a go at that. <laughs> so, that's good. 
Now it's time to take George and stand out and everyone through a completely gassy one. They're not used to this at all. Can't wait to watch. Well, if your faults is or not, if Jesus. <laughs> today, we're going as a team today, George. Going as a team. Your first ever CrossFit workout in a CrossFit box. CrossFit first one, yeah. Yeah. Looking forward to it. To this is going to be gassy and I'm not going to let him stop. <laughs> this is two days in a row I've taken someone through the first CrossFit workout and I freaking love doing it. The workout, 50 calorie row, 50 wall balls, 10 burpees over the rower, 40, 40, 10, 30, 30, 10, 20, 20, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, in a pair for time. Heart, lungs and legs. Out of 10 ready? Mm, about nine and a half. There's always room for improvement. There we go. <laughs> this guy knows. I'm sitting in the crib dreaming about near jets and coops. The way salt shoots. Maybe not. <laughs> He's like, this? Yeah, we're on it. Ready? 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 Two, one, go! How to sell records like Snoop. I'm interrupted by a doorbell. 352. Who the hell is this? I get up quick, cocks my shit. Stop the dogs from barking, then proceed to walking. It's a face that I've seen before. My nigga sing, he used to sling on the 16th floor. Yeah. 18, 18. Oh, yeah. How'd you feel? I'll show you how I feel. Yeah, it looks good. <laughs> Absolute burner. Good fun though? Yeah, to be fair. Alright. Wall balls hurt me then. They hurt in general. Yeah. Would you do it again? Do it again, definitely do it again. Yeah, okay, cool. Please get it again. George, part of the team. Also one of my best friends from school. <laughs> There guys. See ya. Had a blast. Hi. Who's that? Is that me? <laughs> That's me. It was you as a kid. Funny, isn't it? Wow. So what I've got to do, I've got to get the plaster off here and hopefully that's where the first breeze block's going to be. So if I can do that first. How do you all, know there's a breeze block there? Well, I've been round the other side of the wall and I've used a tape measure and measured it, you see. That's a guesstimate. Yeah, I mean there's breeze. Today is the day we start breaking through the wall. Hell yeah. Are you sure I'm not going to kill myself? Uh, just got to be careful of the wire behind it. Okay, first hit of this wall. It's not just going to collapse. I hope so that it's protected. Oh, where does the pipe go? To me. Where? I am um, available for trade hire if anybody wants a... Have you not got a mallet? Have just... you got a safety glasses? <laughs> but what I don't want to do is to smack the wall the whole... And then, you know, venting frustration. What could be wrong? Good job I got your safety glasses on. <laughs> could you just have a look through the hole? <laughs> Craig, could you just have a look through? He might lift heavy weights, That's but he can't knock walls down, can he? This is awesome. What up, team? This is the start of the home gym. <laughs> this is so sick. <laughs> huh? Yeah. This is like, um, what's the, they did this in the games. You have to hit it with a big sledgehammer, this is a lot smaller and not in the games, but. Yeah, golfer. Workout number two is through the wall for time. 17.3. <laughs> 17.3 is. Smack the wall down as quick as you can. 
sparks is a little bit skinny, a little co commotion. Poor little sparkles. It's okay. Break making lots of noise. Yes. Poor little doggy. Poor little man. What up, bro? Happy Monday. Happy Monday team. <laughs> Yesterday, we knocked down as much of the wall as we possibly could. So I'm gonna show you and give you a kind of update as to what I envisage, envisage? Envisage. Basically what I think is gonna go in there. Da -da -da. It's actually a lot bigger than we thought it was gonna be when we added both pieces together. We need to measure up the floor so then we can get the order in for the mats. Plan, I think where this stair bit comes down, I want in this corner. I'd love to stick a skier because it's definitely high enough and maybe you could store a rower there. Under the boiler and under the stairs, I wanna store the kettlebells, the plates, the dumbbells. Basically anything that would take up floor space and so, so we can make the most of what's in here. Can you believe it, hey, be careful. There's loads of stones on the floor. Be careful of your feet. Then I think on this wall here, we're gonna have a fold out rack. So a rack that will literally be against the wall and then it will fold out. You can put your barbell on it. It can take a lot of load. That will be on this side because this side has all of the, this is getting moved on Friday. Probably to there. The reason why we haven't knocked down this part of the wall is because there's a gas pipe there still. As soon as the gas box is moved, then the gas pipe can be moved too. But yeah, we'll have a lot of floor space. And if I put my hand up, I'm stood on rubble here. We definitely have enough room for plates and barbells to go overhead because I'm stood on like two foot worth of rubble. But the coolest part of the, of the garage gym is this, and I cannot wait for summer because I can just imagine this place full of gym kit. Dude, it's okay, I'm not going anywhere. And then you have this for the summer. Okay, ready for this? This is exciting. I opened this up the other day when I was in here and I was like, this is gonna be perfect. You open up the garage and you have a perfect, airy, probably I would say 150 meter run down a hill and up and back up again. I'm so excited. I'm so excited for this to come together finally. Using all of Bulldog Gear's equipment. Because it's UK made and I love the guys, I love the brand, I love the quality. I love what they stand for. And on that note, I'm gonna end the vlog. I got a lot of work to do today. And then we train tonight. So, I'll probably see you guys at training tonight. Pick up the camera back again. If you have enjoyed the video, as always, please hit that like button. It really, really just does help the channel and push the content. And thank you every single, thank you all you guys for coming back and watching the video every single time. It makes my day. You guys rock. We'll, we'll catch you guys in the next one. Home gym's gonna be so, I'm so excited. So excited for this. <laughs> <laughs> Five seconds. Five seconds. <laughs> Finish it. Have we gone? Three, two, one. I couldn't stand in that same place, I was gone, I was like buckling and I was like, <laughs> On uh, Ben Smith, Fittest on Earth with Matt Fraser. Matt Fraser held the ball for five minutes, just like singing along to country music, enjoying himself. So I was like, George, hold the, hold the ball for two minutes. And uh, it's hard. Try it.